it. We're here, and we're finally here to talk about Predator. Uh, this is... This is... Be- That's a lot of flickering. I'm going to not do that. Uh, let's move it over here so we get less flickering. Um, yeah. I mean, first off the bat, it's called The Predator. And... N- no. The, the, there's, there's more than one. So right off the bat, your film is a lie. Um, it it's just it's just lie. I just want to point out this thing. It's just this made me laugh. It's just, and on the back it says like the main feature has been rated a UK fifteen certificate. Official trailer has raised this disc to a UK eighteen certificate. What? I don't think I've ever seen that. I have to put this on here. I'm just like just so you can see this. Uh oh, it's not gonna focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Focus. There. Like, what? The actual fuck. Anyway, enough of that thing. Um, yeah, the Predator. Uh, it's just... Oh, it's just bad. Why am I watching these bad films? Why? Why, is, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> why am I doing this to myself? It's fine. We're, we're at the end, um, except for Prey, which, again, I hear that's good. So we're at the end of the bad films in both of these franchises, Alien and Predator. So, yeah, things are looking up. Things are finally looking up. We've got, we've got Alien and Predator almost in the bag. Next week, we're going to finish it. Um... Yes, a lot of those bad, like, some of the films have been good, some of them bad, it's been a mix, it's been a very mixed bag, um, but it's nice to have finally watched some of these films that I've never seen before, um, but yeah, Predator, I have seen this before I did my commentary, uh, and I didn't like it then. It's trying to do some, it's kind of do something, like, similar to the, the original film, where it's kind of this kind of ragtag group, group of idiots, but, uh... Yeah, it's much like the first film. You don't care about any of the characters. And that's not good. Again, that's not good. Why? Why would you do that? That you? I, oh, why? Why? I just don't care about any of these characters. What? What is it with these films? Just not making characters that are good. Why can't they make good characters that you care about? I mean... This main character just sent sent his son a weapon in the mail. Apparently that's a thing you can do now. You can send a predator helmet in the mail. No one questions anything. They're just like, ah, that's fine. And this kid just outright kills people with the predator mask. I mean, it's not kind of his fault, but still. Still. Don't give your kids predator masks, guys. Bad parents. Bad parents. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not 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 the character likable, the main villain. Uh, just, it's kind of very much a very weak source. I mean, if, the main human villain, should I say? The, there's also the main predator who's bigger because they stealing people's DNA. So not only are they retroactively changing stuff, no, well, not only are they making a bad film, they're also retroactively making previous films worse by implying that instead of them stealing them for trophies, because they're like, hey, I like a trophy. You know, I made a good kill. I got a trophy. We're trophy hunters. Cool. No, they're stealing DNA now so they can become the ultra predator. Uber predator. I guess Uber makes sense with, you know, they're trying to create a a, a super race of hybrid Predators, and then again, it's not like not like Nazis. They're yeah, you know, Nazis are like we're gonna create everything that's impure and inbred. I mean, what? Um, whereas this, they're just like now we're just we're just stealing DNA and trying to hybridize ourselves. And for some reason, this predator is fucking massive. For whatever reason, I guess because they're stealing DNA. F- don't know. This film honestly falls apart. 
none of the characters you care about. Like, they originally wanted to have... So I saw some crazy shit. Like, they originally wanted to have, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger back. So, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's from the original film. He just... They, yeah, he wanted more, I think, either more money or either more money and or a bigger part. So, okay, fair enough. He, you know, they didn't want to do that. It was more for a cameo. Um, it's fair enough there. Uh, or I saw some, well, I saw on Wikipedia, I don't know if this is true. Like they wanted, like, they shot stuff with, like, Ripley and Newt. And they were going to do some kind of future crossover with Predator? Uh, with Alien Predator? I don't know if that's true, but that sounds fucking wild. Not not good wild, just fucking wild. Um, and also apparently they shot stuff with Edgar James Ormus, who was just also entirely cut from the film. What the fuck? I mean, maybe it's better because he's like, yeah, no, I'm not actually in that film anymore. So yay me, I, I'm I'm missing out on this terrible film. <laughs> I got paid, and uh, yeah, I got cut out of a terrible film. So you know, yeah, they're, they're, they're just like these guys are just like supposed to be you know this kind of ragtag losers who are just uh but uh, uh, trash. Like tra trash people, like they just make the worst kind of jokes. The kind of jokes you'd expect to make uh, as a as a ten year old in like the early noughties. And yeah, no, yeah, n no, n no. They're using the R word a lot, and this is like just five years ago. Like that wasn't okay. Like fifteen years ago. Uh. uh uh, <laughs> it's just like what I just okay oh and the, the main character's son is the one that the predator wants to steal because I guess he has the, the he wants to steal his, the kid's DNA or something because he has autism so he's got superpowers yeah that's the thing uh, he can just decipher alien language because he has autism uh, yeah, that, no, no, that that uh, literally a thing in the film. And uh, just anytime I think more about this film, I'm just like, uh, Olivia Munn's character shows up and just goes, "Ah, you're, yeah, you basically wrote wrote the b book on fucking, but oh, shit, I've forgotten. <laughs> but it's but it's, it's the the trope of you wrote the book on X, and it's like what? Yep, no one else is an expert on this thing at all." You're only this one person. Only one person. Even though we have a whole bunch of scientists, we could use those and keep the shit under wraps. Nope. Nope. She's the expert. We have to have the expert. Nope. Bring her in. Every time I, th I think harder about this film, I'm just like, I just... I, I just don't like it. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm just thinking of sitting again, thinking again. Anyway, so the redeeming qualities of this film are mm. citation needed. Like honestly, I can't. I can't think of good thing to say say about this film. Like even even with the bad like alien films, I'm still like, well, it looks really pretty. That's, uh, eh. Not really. None of it was like, oh, that looks good. Uh, yeah, no. No. No, don't watch this film. It's bad. It's honestly bad. It retroactively makes other Predator films bad. And that's not a good thing. Um. Yeah, I... My main characters are trash. The the story is trash. Yeah, pl any plot is trash. Just everything. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just racking my head through the movie. Just thinking like, is there anything I like about this film? Uh, no. N no. 
Honestly, I don't, I don't know how this got made. Like, it, it sounds like it, like, it sounded like there was some kind of like studio interference in some ways. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It is. It also seems like like what we see in the film. I'm just like, well, most of it is trash anyway. I don't. There's nothing here. I'm like, well, that's it's got some redeeming qualities in the uh, yeah. It's got redeeming qualities. What redeeming qualities are those? Hmm. Also, they make the joke about the fucking, uh, yeah, you know, not being a predator. Twice they make the same joke, like the name, uh, like, well, it's not really a predator because it's a bit, a bit. You make the joke twice. It wasn't funny the first time. It's not funny the second time. No, bad. Don't. <laughs> just, just no. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sign off. Is I, the more more I think about this film, the more angry I get. And yeah, yeah, the better this film is retconned out of existence, the better. Because honestly, this is the only like solo Predator film that's bad. Like, you could have problems with Predator Two and Predators, but they're not bad films. This is a bad film. Like, um. Yeah, and now obviously AVP Requiem is bad, but I think this is much worse, honestly. Anyway, it let let's let's end this. Let's end the negativity. It's done. That film. I don't have to watch it again, unless I feel like doing this or hate watching it with someone, uh, which may I may do at some point. Uh, I think <laughs> I don't think Matt's seen that one, so I think. I kind of, I kind of want to hate watch some of the bad Alien and Predator films with him at some point. But uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna sign off. And uh, yeah, next time is uh, we're gonna do Prey next. Um, I haven't filmed that yet, so I've got Prey and Halloween, part of the new Halloween trilogy. Um, because I've got that set now, and since we're at the end, I want to go straight into that because it's it fits perfect perfectly with this because. I've only got the Prey to watch, and then I've got, yeah, you know, I need a film, and then the week after will be two films, so that could be just the two, the next two ha uh, Halloween films, so brilliant, fits perfectly, and then, yeah, we're done with Halloween, so cool, for now I say, live long and prosper, and hopefully I'll see you in one of those next videos I mentioned, or any other videos, I've got fucking so many videos, go watch one, please.